in part four of my bond valuation series I'm going to uh, show how to calculate the yield to call which is the rate of return that you're going to earn on a callable bond. A callable bond is one that can be redeemed by the issuer prior to maturity. Uh, for example, let's say a bond is issued for 10 years. However, the issuer of that bond, it could be the firms selling the bond or the government's entity, has instituted what's called a call provision in the bond agreements called indenture to buy back that bond at a pre-specified price which is called a call price four years from today. So as you can see, this is a 10-year bond, but four years from now the company reserves the right, not the obligation, to get rid of the bonds, to retire the bonds. Now though, the rate of return that you're going to earn on that callable bond as I mentioned earlier is called the yield to call. And the number of years to call, we're going to use this, uh, the notation N sub C. All right, number of years to call to denote it and the yield to call we're going to use YTC or or subscript C to denote the uh, required rate of return on a callable bond aka the yield to call so here's a quick example it says here suppose the coupon rate on a callable bond is 8% although the bond has a 10 year maturity it can nevertheless be called for $1100 three years from today so let's pause here for a, a quick second. Remember that the face value of a bond upon maturity is $1,000. But here it says that the bond, if it is called, the company will pay you that $1,000 in addition to a call premium equal to 10% of that $1,000. 10% of 1000 is 100 a hundred added to a thousand is what gives you this call price of eleven hundred. You see what I did there? So call premiums are included in a callable bond as a way to encourage investors to buy them. So anyhow, this bond can be called three years from now. The current market price on this bond uh, is uh, twelve hundred fifty one point eighty, and we're going to assume semi-annual payments in calculating the yield to call. So again, here's your prompt. The blue represents the cash flows. The red, the maturity of the investments. And the green, in this case, is going to have to be the present value of the price of the instruments in order to calculate the yield. But now, though, this being a semi-annual bond at the coupon rate of 8% works out to be $40, which is $80 divided by 2 every 6 months. And of course, upon maturity, or in this case now, let's be careful, upon call, you will receive the call price of 1100 which includes the maturity value of a thousand plus a premium of a hundred bucks so be careful here that the that FV here is going to strictly represent the future value of this callable bond which is going to be the call price that you're going to be receiving three years from now which is six semi-annual periods and again here's the price of this bond so when we calculate this yield is going to come out to be 2.47 percent and let's practice it so here's my BA2 plus I clear the screen first of all and then I'm going to have to clear TVEM and clear uh, work both of which are second functions so second clear TVEM second clear work alright so now I'm good to go on the third row so 40 is payment and 1100 is the future value which is the call price and then 6 is number of periods which is number of call periods and finally 1251.80 with a negative click that we enter we enter it as PV and then we compute I over Y. Be careful now, this is not your final answer. If you list this as your answer, you'd be incorrect. <laughs> so you gotta go times two equal, just as I show right here, right? And your final answer is 2.47. And if you wanna use spreadsheet to do this, you can do that too, but there are two adjustments that you're gonna have to make. You're gonna have to change this to the call price, and then you're gonna have to change this to the number of periods. The calculations will come out to be um, the same. All right, and uh, for your own practice, I, sh I uh, give you this problem. A 12-year bond with a four-year call provision can be called at 12.5% above its par value of a thousand bucks. Now keep in mind par value and phase value and maturity value are all the same. 
coupon interest is paid at the rate of 7.8%. The bond is currently selling for 12.22, so this is a premium bond. And with semi-annual coupon payments, we can definitely calculate the yield to call, which I've laid out here. Again, the payment is going to come out to be 39 bucks, which is 7.8% of 1000 divided by 2. The future value, which is the call price we're told here, is going to be at uh, that uh, it can be called at 12.5% above its par value of a thousand bucks. So 12.5% of a thousand is 125. Added to this thousand gives you a total call price of 1125. So the language tells you what the value here should be. So, so sometimes in a, in a problem like this, you might not get the call price directly. You might, however, be given the uh, data with which to exactly determine it. Number of years to call is four times two is eight semi-annual periods, and here's your price of the bond right now, which you would enter as the present value of the bond. And with all of that, you should be able to hook it up real nicely. And that's a wrap.